What is going on guys? This is Plasmatic bringing you another Splatoon 2 video. Today is the third installment in the Schooled Weapons 101 series, where I go over all of the weapons in Splatoon 2 and discuss their strengths, weaknesses, roles, and variants. Today's weapon of choice is the Splat Roller. Let's dive right in. The Splat Roller is a member of the Roller class. Unlike shooters, the Roller has three methods of attacking foes. The horizontal flick, the vertical flick, and of course, the roll. The roll does 125 damage on contact and has no falloff damage. Both the horizontal and vertical flicks do a maximum damage of 150, which is an instant kill on any opponent that is not shielded by their special. The flicks suffer from massive falloff damage, meaning that the effective range of the roller is much smaller than its perceived range. As a result, splat roller players enjoy equipping main power up to increase their one hit KO range. Each flick of the roller uses 9% of your ink tank, meaning that the roller can flick 11 times before running out of ink. When rolling, the splat roller consumes 1.2% of your ink tank per second, which increases as your speed increases, up to a maximum of 6% per second. The vanilla splat roller comes equipped with a sub-weapon of curling bombs and the splashdown special. It builds special and 170 points. Curling bombs are great for mobility, but bad for ink efficiency, as they consume 70% of your ink tank for each bomb. Curling bombs are also not a sub-weapon that tend to get many splats, so use them sparingly while in combat. Splashdown, of course, is a good tool for when you need to clear out an area or are in over your head. The vanilla roller is a slayer, and can make good use of its curling bombs when combined with ninja squid. The Krakon Splat Roller comes equipped with a sub-weapon of Squid Beacons and the Baller Special. It also builds Special in 170 points. The Krakon's kit is a bit dysfunctional, as the main and special weapons are both befitting for Slayers, but its sub-weapon is more suited to a support or anchor weapon. More often than not, if a team is looking for a weapon with beacons, a Krakon will not be their first choice. It shares all of the strengths of the vanilla in terms of the main weapon itself. And Baller is a great way to clear out an area for your team, but it doesn't often get to make good use of its sub-weapon without going out of its way to place beacons in good spots. The Kensa Splat Roller comes equipped with a sub-weapon of Splat Bombs and the Bubble Blower Special. It builds special in 180 points. The Kensa Roller has the opposite problem of the Krakon. Its sub-weapon is great for a Slayer, but its special is more of a supportive special. However, this doesn't mean that the Kensa variant can't make good use of its special. Bubbles are great for guarding the tower on tower control and the clam basket on clam blitz, and splat bombs, combined with object shredder, are great for popping those bubbles quickly. Kensa roller players have to be a bit more tactical than vanilla or crack on players due to the lack of a panic button special, like splashdown or baller, but the trade off for this is arguably the best sub weapon out of the three options. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button, or even subscribe. I will see you all next time.